funnel cakes, fried Twinkies, elephant ears. Oh, everything sounds so great, but uh, and those are normally the types of foods that you can think of and that come to mind at festivals like Arts, Beats and Eats, but they aren't always the healthiest. And well, there are some healthier options that we can enjoy as well. And joining me this morning to talk about some of them is registered dietitian from Priority Health, Amanda Benson. Thank you so much for being here. And we also have Chef Craig Reiner. Did I say that correctly? Rainer. Rainer. My enough. apologies no from worries. Cafe Muse. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Well, we're going to talk in just a minute about how Cafe Muse is involved with Arts, Beats and Eats this year. Um, but first, Amanda, tell us about how Priority Health is helping to make the festival a little more healthy. Sure, so as a part of our commitment to helping improve the health and lives of our communities, we're not only bringing fitness events to the festival, but also healthy food options. So we've we've teamed up with some area restaurants and they're gonna bring some healthy options. They're gonna have some other options too. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're gonna do is actually color code some of the healthier options. So it's a quick reference, so you know right off the bat if it's a good choice or not. We're gonna have gluten-free, low-fat, sugar-free, whatever your dietary needs might be. Uh-huh, we're oh, gonna mark great. those. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, nice. So everybody, when you're walking around Arts, Beats, and Eats, you can kind of pick and gravitate towards whatever foods are, are healthier for you. Exactly. And your needs. Well, um, why don't you take us through, Craig, and tell us a little bit about what you're making today. Okay. It's actually a pretty simple salad that you can do at home. It's chickpeas, which I love. It's a great protein source, high in fiber. So I've basically taken one can of those. Okay. About two tablespoons of parsley. You can use Italian parsley, cilantro, if you prefer, whatever you want it, the flavor to be. Okay. One onion diced. I like red because it's a little and more I do mellow. Too. I yes. always go for the red onions. And these are Michigan beef steaks, which are amazing this time of year. Okay, good to know. You basically mix that all together. Very simple. Seems real easy, yeah. And then the dressing is just lemon juice. Okay. Lemon zest, which really intensifies that lemon flavor. Got it. And I add salt and pepper to taste. And voila, that's it. That's it. And the, Mix it around. The key to this is letting it sit in the fridge for a good hour, so okay. that way all the, the flavors really marry together and it, it tastes very cohesive. And this will be available at Arts, Beats, and Eats this year? Yes, it will be. So you're going to be cooking up a whole bunch of it. Oh, yes. Or actually <laughs> mixing up a whole bunch of it. <laughs> Wonderful. And uh, what other restaurants are going to be involved? Um, there's going to be the Potato Factory, um, Mr. B's, Union. Um, there's going to be lots of... Great Cafe Muse, of course. Yeah. Well, it's nice Union to see Jackson. that everybody's trying to go the healthier route mm -hmm. because, yeah, you know, you can go to any festival and get those elephant ears, but you, you can't get everything like this um, except for at Arts, Beats, and Eats. So what a wonderful thing that everyone's helping out with. Amanda yeah. and Craig, I appreciate, appreciate you both being here. And make sure you check out this delicious salad at Arts, Beats, and Eats. Time now for our cool clips. All right. Thank you very much, Erin. You know, some of you may remember 